and welcome to my minimalist skincare routine. I have six products, but one's a duplicate, so I typically would only have five products to talk about. And then I have one special cleansing cloth as well. But before we start, I have to give this disclaimer. This is just the skincare that works for me. Skincare is so personalized. I'm also not a dermatologist. I'm not a skincare expert. The only thing that I will definitively say is less is more when it comes to skincare for me. And my friends, just for context, I have very dry, slightly dehydrated skin. And I have dabbled with pretty much any skin concern you can think of, but I'm really learning to love my skin and all of its like minor imperfections. Hi, editing Hannah from the future. I forgot to mention that I also have very sensitive skin. That's a factor to consider here too when you are listening to my skincare products. Okay, back to the video, bye. So with that spiel out of the way, let's just hop right into the routines. I have a morning routine, an evening routine, and a special self-care day routine too. The morning routine is a three-step process if I'm lucky, sometimes it's two. The first of of which is this makeup eraser. So I really shouldn't have any remnants of makeup on in the morning. This is more so to just freshen my face and wipe off any, you know, lingering skincare from the evening before. This makeup eraser cloth also acts as a really gentle exfoliant. So this is what I do instead of cleansing my face in the morning. I find that too much to cleanse twice a day. So I will just, you know, take some water and dampen this cloth and just freshen up my face first thing in the morning. Step number two is a basic moisture I have the CeraVe moisturizing cream for dry to very dry skin. It is supposed to moisturize and help the skin restore the protective barrier of the face and body with three essential ceramides, hyaluronic acid, and it is fragrance free. So I was surprised by how much I loved this product. I had been using the Neutrogena moisturizer on my face and body for years and years before that, but I wanted something a little more intense, so I switched to the CeraVe. For something to not give me a rash and not break me out and actually moisturize my skin is truly shocking, and this one is at a price point that is actually affordable for me. It's actually unlike any moisturizer I've ever used before in that it's not very dewy. It doesn't make my skin look juicy, but I actually don't mind that. I find I don't need to go in with as much powder, which is pretty nice. I also find it to be more deeply hydrating than literally any moisturizer I've ever used before. So much so that, you know, the next morning when I am using this makeup eraser, I can still feel the product on my skin in a good way. It feels very, very deeply hydrating to my skin. Hyaluronic acid is something I always look for too, because again, it's one of the only things that just like retains the moisture in my skin. The only downside right now for this product is it's not super blendable. I find it kind of takes a little bit to work into the skin, which means that sometimes makeup application doesn't go perfect right away. So I actually think that I'm, this is too intense for me. The, um, dry to very dry. I think I might try the lotion next and hopefully that can sort it out. But you know, this line from CeraVe, the moisturizing line is very good for my skin. So when I go to apply this product, I actually don't take any from the pot. I just use this little tube. I find it so much more hygienic than like sticking my finger over and over again back into that pot. So I will just take a little dollop of this and gently work it into the skin. A little goes a long way with this product. I'll make sure to not miss my neck nor my ears. And honestly, that's it. That's my moisturizer done. And again, insert your favorite moisturizer here. It's a lot less about the product itself because this probably is not going to work for everyone and a lot more about just like keeping things simplified. So moving on now to step number three, and that is sunscreen. This is the Coppertone Pure and Simple 100% Zinc Oxide Sunscreen. It is for the face and it is supposed to be hypoallergenic and gentle, and there's no oxybenzone, parabens, dyes, fragrance, it's water resistant, and it's UVA and UVB protection. So this product is pretty good for a mineral sunscreen. This was actually just something that my sister left behind and I decided to use. This one seems to not break me out and doesn't seem to, you know, give me hives or a rash either. And at this point, that's my standard for sunscreen. So this is pretty good. It also doesn't have like a crazy white cast. Of course, it's 100% zinc oxide. So it still does have a white cast, but not so bad. And another thing is it's 
fairly spreadable too. Again, a lot of zinc oxide sunscreens are like really thick and gloopy and nearly impossible to like spread over the skin. This one actually has a nice thin consistency and I do find it fairly easy as far as mineral sunscreens go to spread across the face. So I will take a decent amount of this product and again, just gently spread it over my skin, work it into the skin to ensure that, you know, that white cast is as minimized as it can be. And again, that's it. That's how I use this product. It's very simple, but I do need to chat about sunscreens in general, just for a second. If I was telling you that I wear this every single day without fail, I would be lying to you. I wish that was the case, but it is not. I have a very hard time with sunscreens. I don't react well to them whatsoever. And even mineral sunscreens, daily use I find quite hard on my skin. So I'm definitely in the market for a really high quality mineral sunscreen. I really want to try out the Elta MD one, but it's not available in the country that I'm at now. But I think once this one's done in the future, that's what I will transition to. I also much prefer a product to be for my face and body. And I would prefer that in my sunscreens too, so I don't have to have multiples. So yeah, if you have tried the Elta MD one, let me know how it goes. I'm really interested in it because apparently it has a transparent zinc oxide and it's for the face and body too so let me know if you have tried that one in the comments down below I am really curious about that sunscreen I have very very high hopes for it all right and that was it for the morning three steps and two products that's just about as simple as you can get moving along now to my nighttime routine though and I have a little bit more to chat about I have a four-step process with three products. So typically at night, my skincare routine starts in the shower. I am a nighttime shower kind of person, but if for some reason I'm not showering at night, I'll just do these steps by the sink. So the first step is removing my makeup again with the makeup eraser. I don't add anything but water to this cloth and I will just gently, you know, massage my face and get rid of all the makeup. For the makeup that I wear, this is perfectly sufficient to remove it all. And I do find the addition of the shower just convenient and helpful because it can kind of start to break up a little bit of my makeup and I find it easier to then go in with the cloth. And of course, many days I'm not wearing makeup, but I will still go in with this cloth similar to my morning routine and just wipe away the day. So that is my makeup removed. And now we are going in with a cleanser. And the product I use is the Dr. Bronner's 18 in one baby unscented Castile soap. So this one of course is fragrance free. It's certified fair trade. It's made with organic oils. And it's also supposed to be ideal for skin with psoriasis, sensitive skin, or atopic skin. It's even safe for babies and kids. I could do an entire video on this product. I love it so much and use it for so many things. But as a facial cleanser, I really like it as well. It is quite intense though. I would say that some people might find it a little stripping. I personally don't. It works just fine for me, but it does have that almost like squeaky clean feeling. And I know that some people don't love that. I prefer it when it comes to a cleanser. So this is just like the perfect product for me, but I understand that that wouldn't be for everyone. So this is actually a concentrated version and it's meant to be diluted. So what I do is I'll just take literally one drop and that's more than enough to cleanse my face. So that's it. I'm all clean now and we are hopping out of the shower and it's time to moisturize again. So same process product in the evening, I am going in with the CeraVe moisturizing cream and probably putting on a little bit more. That's the only thing I'll say is I'll put on a little bit more for the evening skincare routine than I would in the morning just because I want it to last throughout the night and really deeply hydrate my skin while I'm sleeping. So moisturizer with step number three. Now moving on to the fourth and final step, I will apply a balm on any dry areas of my face. This one is the Dr. Bronner's Unscented Magic Balm. It can be used for a whole host of things from a diaper cream to moisturizing your hands, your cuticles, or your feet. It can protect your skin from cold and windy weather and provide relief to your skin in a safe and simple way without any synthetic ingredients. And this is just a great standard balm. It's a very versatile product. I used to use Vaseline, but I wanted something a bit more natural, so I went with this um, organic magic balm from Dr. Bronner's, and I like it. I don't think there's anything fancy about it, much like the cleanser from Dr. Bronner's, but it's a good standard product and I very much enjoy using it. I can't see myself moving away from this in the next few years. It's exactly what I was looking for for an all-purpose balm. So I will simply just take 
a tiny little bit. I know it's in a tub, it's not the best, but I will take a tiny little bit of this and just put it wherever I'm dry, which is usually my lip area. And again, a little goes a long way with this product too. And so with this all-purpose balm, that completes my evening skincare routine. I'm ready for bed. But let's talk now about my third routine, which is special and it's on my self-care day. So lately the day has been Sunday and I tried to dedicate large portions of the day to self-care, one of which being a little bit more extensive of a skincare routine. Now, to be honest, it takes probably like 15 more seconds <laughs> than my other regular skincare routines, but it makes me feel like I am really taking care of my skin. So the first two steps are unchanged, the first being my makeup eraser and the second being my cleanser. But step number three before my moisturizer is what I like to call my hero product. I have one standout product, or I typically have one, I have two right now, that addresses, you know, my main skincare concerns. So for me, I want a gentle chemical exfoliant, I want the dead skin gone, and I want to look a little less dull, a little brighter, a little more radiant. And in my opinion, both of these products do that thing. So typically, of course, I would only ever have one. I purchased myself the Faded Topicals, but I had used the Good Jeans for years and years and years. Amazing product, just too expensive for me to purchase but I got it as a gift from my mother and father-in-law, so I have two in my collection right now. So let's talk first about the Faded Topicals Brightening and Clearing Serum. This is supposed to be a hyperpigmentation safe serum that visibly reduces stubborn discoloration, post blemish marks, scars, and spots. It's also supposed to be gentle enough for everyday use and it produces visible results in as little as two weeks. And I actually agree with all of those claims. I think this is such a good product. I could tell you what it does for my skin, but it would literally be that description. Like it is just, it's so, so, so good. It's popular for a reason. And it's a bit more of an affordable product. It's still fairly expensive, but not too bad in my opinion. The only negative to this is it smells really bad. <laughs> that might seem like an odd thing to say, but like it's very bad. I don't know what's in here that makes it not smell great, but it's not the best. However, I tend to prefer fragrance-free things. So the fact that they didn't just cover that up with some like overwhelmingly floral scent, I actually appreciate. So it's kind of like a pro and a con. Anyways, let's talk about how I use it. It's just super simple. I take a tiny little dollop of this and gently massage it all over my face and I automatically look juicy, awake, alive, and like I slept a lot more than I did. I am a new mom. <laughs> And that has been a struggle lately for me. So I really love this Faded Topicals product, but another one, another one that has my heart and has had my heart for years and years and years is the Sunday Riley Good Jeans Lactic Acid Treatment. This is an all-in-one treatment that deeply exfoliates the dull surface of the skin for clarity, radiance, and younger looking skin. It's supposed to visibly brighten the appearance of dark spots and discoloration and instantly plumps the look of fine lines and wrinkles in three minutes. And yeah, it does all those things. All those things and a little bit more. I feel like I'm a model off duty when I wear this. I feel like I should be part of Hollywood. It is, it's such a good skincare product. And similar to the faded one, I could tell you what it does for my skin, but it's exactly what I just described, which is right on the bottle. I agree with all the claims. Now, the only thing that I have found with Good Jeans specifically is I feel like they changed their formula. I feel like it used to be even better. And now as I'm getting a little bit older, I'm finding it dries out my skin just a tiny little bit and it never used to do that. So I guess there's two things there. I feel like the formula changed and I feel like as I'm getting a little bit older, it's drying out my skin just a teeny tiny little bit. But if I use it on a weekly basis, it does not dry out my skin. I'm talking more about a daily use sort of thing. And I forgot about the biggest con, the price, which is why I decided to switch things up. My goodness, this is expensive and I just don't have it in my skincare budget anymore, which is why I'm so grateful to have this gifted to me. And I'm absolutely going to cherish having this in my skincare lineup for now. So that is my Good Jeans Lactic Acid Treatment. But again, this step, which can be filled by either of these two products for me, 
is about my hero product, my one skincare product with active ingredients that are going to target my main skincare concerns. So again, these products address my concerns, but yours can be something entirely different. You might be dealing with cystic acne and need like a salicylic acid product. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Your skincare issue, your biggest skincare concern or concerns could be a completely different product. This is just what works for me. Another note is that I use these only on a weekly basis. These both are products that can be worked up for daily use. I don't find my skin needs chemical exfoliation every single day. I also wouldn't take the time, to be honest, like I wouldn't take the time to do this step with my skin every single day. It also would be too expensive. These products are a little pricey. And also I enjoy this weekly process and this is an attainable skincare routine for me, both every day, but also this one day, just adding one small extra step that's actually attainable as a new mom. I do it every single week consistently and I find that it really helps my skin just doing it once a week. And typically what I will do is I will just rotate between each of these products. So I'm actually using each individual product even less frequently about, you know, once every two weeks. So that's it. This is my favorite skincare step. It's all about my hero product. It goes a long way for me, really helps my skin out, and it's just the most enjoyable step in my entire week of skincare. Moving on now from the most exciting thing to my next step on Sundays, which again is no different, pretty boring, just my basic CeraVe moisturizer. So I'll moisturize my face, but I will also take the time on Sundays this is the only time of the week that I do this and I will moisturize my entire body. My skin on my body just doesn't get too dry living where I am currently. It's a very humid climate so I can get away with moisturizing once a week and again this is actually an attainable routine for me. I would never moisturize my entire body every single day. Just wouldn't happen. So once a week is more than enough for me and I just use this exact same moisturizer. And finally I will go in with my balm again even if I'm not particularly dry in any area just on Sundays I will go through the entire you know routine. So I will put this balm on my lips if I have any other dry areas on my face or on my body. You might notice that the only thing that I've omitted on Sundays is this sunscreen and that is because typically the self-care routine doesn't start until like late afternoon evening so it wouldn't make sense to wear a sunscreen if this routine starts in the morning then absolutely I would put the sunscreen on as well just after my moisturizer and before the balm. So that was it for my super special Sunday routine although to be honest it's not that special. It really only has like one more product but it feels luxurious to me and it feels like I'm really taking care of my skin. So with that Sunday routine done that was it. That was my morning routine, my evening routine, and my weekly special self-care routine. And before closing out this video I just want to talk a little bit about a simplified routine. You heard me talk, I think for probably all of these products, that it's a lot less about the product and a lot more about just having a simplified routine. The only thing that I know with skincare, the only thing that I will put my Hannah Ross stamp of approval on is that less is more. I have had a skincare routine with a bajillion steps. I have had a huge big skincare closet. I have had all the products, all of them, all of them. And what I have found is my skin was so much worse with more and more and more. I needed to completely strip things back to stop listening to what everyone else had to say about skincare, ironically, <laughs> even though I'm making a video about skincare, but I needed to stop listening to what everyone had to say about what products worked for them and just do the work, you know, go through some of these trial and errors and figure out what finally works for my skin and keep an extraordinarily simplified routine that was actually attainable for me and I would consistently do. By and large, I have, you know, a makeup eraser with no extra product to remove my makeup and freshen up my face. 
I have a basic cleanser, a basic moisturizer, an all-purpose balm, a sunscreen, and then a hero product. And even within those products, the vast majority of them are very versatile and can be used not only on the face, but on my body too. I also am intentional about not duplicating. So I'll just use the same moisturizer. I don't need one that's specific for the morning and for night. I don't need one that's different from summer to winter. I just try to find one that meets in the middle and can meet all of those needs. And again, even that's not gonna be for everyone and I totally understand that, but the, the, the broader message here with this video and with my channel in general is that less can be more and that is exactly what I have found with skincare too. I used to suffer a lot more from many more skincare concerns and now I think my skin is in a pretty good place. I love my skin and I'm also embracing my imperfections and I'm not trying to change things here. I'm just trying to take care of the God-given skin that I have. So yeah, this was my simplified skincare routine. I guess my only closing note is that sometimes I have a spa night, it's usually with my husband, I have some skincare tools, but that isn't part of like my regular routine, so I didn't include it in this video. Perhaps I'll do an entire video dedicated to what I do in a spa night. So yeah, that was it. That was so fun chatting about my skincare routine. It's taken me literal years to get to this point, and I'm really happy and satisfied with my routine now. And of course, I hope that you enjoyed following along with me. If you did happen to like it, then feel free to give it a like if you like me if you like the content that i'm producing on this channel in general then definitely consider subscribing it would truly mean the world to me all right everyone well just thank you so much for being here and i really hope to catch you in my next minimalism video bye for now everyone bye